Today we're going to talk about... The Frightened Condition! A frightened creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks while the source of its fear is within sight. That's neat, but what's really interesting is that the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of its fear. On the surface, that's like, okay, whatever. But when you start to realize what this condition is really doing, creating a secret AOE of restricted movement, one which gets larger every time the fearful creature and the source move farther from each other, it's like a circle which has a radius of the distance between the fearful character and the source of their fear, that makes this condition and spells that inflict it massively more powerful, especially in big open spaces where you can use it to split up enemy parties. Or, if you use the third level fear spell, which also causes targets to flee, you can double down on these benefits by having an attack of opportunity crew that chase down the fearful and hit them every time they run. Before you even say it, yes, you can use attacks of opportunity on force movement, provided that that movement uses the creature's action, reaction, or movement to do so. My source is Jcraw. If the creature can disengage as a bonus action, or if your DM rules that the safest available route is by avoiding attacks of opportunity, uh, which I think is kind of a shaky ruling, then maybe it doesn't work. All right, thanks. That's uh, that's everything. Uh, have a have a scary Halloween or or a good one or whatever. Bye. Oh, also, I made a really cool Halloween episode last year. You should check it out.